Damn, what I go on, what I go on, what I go on to everybody, all the nice and decent people out there. I just wanted to talk to everybody a little bit, you know, went ahead and talked to everybody a little bit. No, I went ahead and uh, cut my beard down a little bit, you know, I got to try to keep it nice and neat, best way I can, you know what I mean, and wash my dreads. Just went ahead and finished drying them. I haven't used a blow dryer on them yet, but yo, know, today I just wanted to go ahead and talk to you. You know, spend a little time, speak my mind. You know what I mean? Mm, damn, I, well, let's look, Ashley. That's all right though. Anyway, anybody out there right now? Um, are y'all going crazy, staying inside the house with the coronavirus, or? Oh, yeah, I'm still going out and, you know, like I just seen something crazy today where um, they had like a meme where this lady, she's standing outside and she's like, yo, you know, um, and they had the caption says, and she's like, you know, how is it? I still have to work is open. I still have to go to work. You know, work is open, but outside is closed. You know what I mean? Like that's crazy, you know. So uh, let me know, man. You know, hit that, hit that damn notification down at the bottom. Post notification, you know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But you know, more importantly, go on there and comment. I want to, I want you to comment down below and let me know if y'all going crazy, stir crazy, just being inside the house and not having no place to go, or you know, or are you just. Ignoring everything and say, you know, forget it. Fuck it. I'm going to just go outside and do whatever. Do what I need to do. You know? Bitches, I don't know if, I don't know what to think about that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing or what? You know, because considering that we are in a state of emergency, you know, it kind of seems like it's probably be the best thing for everybody to stay inside so they won't get sick. You never know what might happen, but still. I know it's one thing that I've been thinking about too while I while you know we've been um inside the house and not being able to go out or you know kind of quarantine ourselves whether you have it or you don't have it you know knock on wood I haven't I I, I haven't had it you know um but um I just you know but then again you know they they have said that there's people out there who who's had it um, but they haven't shown any symptoms or anything like that. And, you know, there's others who have it. They just carry it around and they pass it along to other people or stuff like that. You know, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm one of them, but either way, it's something that, that has been on my mind a little bit. And that is, I mean, kind of thinking of how finite life is really, you know, and, kind of make me think, yo, everything that I always wanted to do in life, I definitely should be on the road or I'm trying to do it, you know, because you never know what might happen. Tomorrow is not promised, you know, today is already here, you know, tomorrow is not promised. So, I, you know, it's a good thing for everybody to go ahead and start going out and doing everything that they can do possible. Just living life, man, being themselves, doing what they need to do. You know, a lot of these jobs out here, you know, they don't even care about you. They they give two flying flips about you at all. You know, really, you know, you think they care? No, they don't care. Let me get a little bit of oil here. Hold on one second. I'll be back, folks. Hold on one second.
And it also give me a little fine tooth comb, you know what I mean? You know, a, a, a comb that has, you know, the space is not as wide as, as, as this one, you know? You know, get a little bit, get a little bit more space. Or less space, rather, I'm sorry. But either way, you know what I mean. I'm getting a small, small tooth comb right here so I can use it and make sure everything is nice and calm. Because, you know, I don't want to get all of them. You know, knots and stuff like that. I wish my beard was a little bit thicker, but whatever. Yeah. Back to what I was talking about earlier, man. You know, I was like, hey, you know, it'd be a good thing for everybody to just go out there and, you know, kind of do what needs to be done, you know, for themselves and their family. Because, you know, these companies out here, they give two flying, all they care about is bottom line. And bottom line is money, profit margins. Yep, that's all they care about. You know, profit margins. You know, so, you know, you got to go out there and, and don't get me wrong. You know, I was one of those people, too, who was out there, you know, caring about, you know, work and, you know, because you kind of feel like, where else I'm going to go? You know, there's nothing else out there. Am I going to make it? Am I going to do do what it is that, that um that that's gonna allow me to you know pay for all my bills and things like that man but you know they don't care you know in a minute they would go ahead and be like hey you know we we not making it bye you gotta go or i don't care what you have going on in your personal life you you, you gotta go we don't need you and well and that sometimes doesn't even matter whether or not that you are a value a valuable um commodity in the company, you know? They don't care. They don't care. At the end of the day, what that boss care about is is he gonna be able to, to pay for his Mercedes Benz? Is he gonna be able to pay for his Tesla, his nice house, pay for his kids to go to private school or her kids to go to private school? They ain't gonna care about you. No, they don't. So, you know, that's why I'm I'm right now I'm just like, you know, it did it happened to me. You know, uh I, I was out there just living life, doing, you know, doing everything that I was I thought was the best thing to do, and then next me, you know, boom. And it was like, bye, see you later. Bye, see you later. They they got rid of a whole department. And I just happened to be in an apartment, team leader in an apartment too. And everything was all gone, you know? So now I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start doing my thing. I'm gonna start doing my thing. I'm gonna start um, doing everything that I once thought was too difficult for to, for me to do. I'm gonna start writing. And as a matter of fact, I'm I'm working on my third book right now. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm working on my third book right now. I'm working doing something with my, my little brother, and we we trying to do something. You know, we trying to trying to get out there because, but but it but it's out there for you. You know, you got to you got to do what you got to do that you you think is best for you and your family. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it isn't, but you never know if you're going to if you're going to fail at doing it unless you do it. But the same the same thing could also be said in in reverse. The same thing could also be said. You don't know who may like your stuff or how many people may like it. You you may become the next big thing. You know, all, all it is just taking, just working hard and putting yourself out there. And that's it, you know. And first thing I learned in sales when I was in, also um, doing sales as a job 
and uh, in school. And the first thing is that you have to sell yourself. People like you, they might like what you're giving them. They might like the product that you have, you know? Sometimes, sometimes it's all about putting yourself out there, you know? It may not work, but you can't keep doing the same thing, getting the same results, and expecting something different to happen. It's that That's not going to happen. You, you only have one life to live, so you got to live it. You got to live it. You got to go out there. You got to do experience. You got to experiment and experience different things, you know? And I'm not saying God didn't do everything, because not everything is for you, uh, you know. And you gotta you gotta do what's for you. If you if you play harmonica, you never know. You might be the biggest biggest um, get a Grammy, you know, playing the harmonica. Playing the harmonica for jazz or hip hop or something, you never know. There's a lane out there for everyone. And if you want, you can go ahead and check me out. I'm gonna put some links down below about my 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 two books that I do have out. And, and like I said, I'm working on my working on our third one right now because what else can we what else can we do? You gotta go ahead and do it. And time is now. It doesn't matter how young you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. You know, this. I just, um, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, there was a, a girl who was um, 16 years old and 15, 16 years old. She won the Nobel Peace Prize. You know, we have, there was a, the, you never know. You never know what may happen, what you have to bring, you know, and that's what it's all about, going out there and and putting yourself out there. And also, you know, I don't know if you watch any of my other videos, but there's one that I was talking about not being selfish, too. And if you do have a talent and you're not showing it and you're not giving it to everybody, that's being selfish. It really is. Think about it like that. You know, there's a there's a Bible, there's a story in the Bible where um, a man he gives a he gives a rich man in the Bible he go ahead and he give three of his sons some money. The first one he takes the money, he goes out, he saves a little bit, he parties. And I and I I may not be perfect on this story. Um I'm kind of paraphrasing. But um the second one he gives he also gives him some money and that son he takes it and he he uh buys a uh, buys himself a little something, maybe a house or, you know, two goats, whatever. And he he sits on the rest. And then the last son takes the money and he invests it. He invested in and he quadruples the money that his dad gave him. And, you know, he had to go down the line and he tells, he tells his sons. So the first one, he says, man... You know, you, you just spent off all the money. What do you have for yourself? What do you have to show? Nothing. He dismissed him. Second one, same thing. He says, oh, yeah, you bought something for yourself, but what do you have to show? He said, I still have some money. You know, you have nothing to show. You, That last son, he went ahead. He wasn't selfish. He took his money. He invested. And when he invested, he quadrupled the money. Now he's rich. And now he can take that money and he can share it with his family. 
and give his dad back his investment that he gave him. You know, because he wasn't thinking selfish. He wasn't thinking scared. You know, that's another thing. Scared money don't make none. It doesn't always mean. Does it always mean that you you you're gonna be you you're gonna be Bill Gates rich? No, it doesn't mean it. But the definition of success is different for everyone. And the main thing for me is if you're doing something that makes you happy and you're living a fulfilled, fulfilled life, and you're able to actually give back, take care of yourself and your family and do the right thing, that's, that's, that's always, sometimes it may be difficult. In the beginning, you may not make crap, but... You got to be able to see, you got to be able to see that light on the other end. You got all up my scalp. I like these, uh, I like this drop. Because it's able to go right through right through my parts and my dreads and, you know, into my scalp. And then I can just take my fingers and rub it all around and stuff. And you, know, you need that oil. You need that oil to make your, your, you know, keep your dreads in your hair. And whether you have dreads or not, you should be doing this anyway. You know, you have braids. If you don't have braids, if you have, if you have a bald hair, you should be oiling it up. Should be all in it up. You know, it's just the way of just taking care of yourself, you know what I mean? You gotta take care of yourself. Who else is gonna take care of you? I mean, if you have a significant other that can do that for you, you know, that's that's good. That's that's how it should be, you know. But they could only do so much. You know, because they have to take care of themselves, too. And then even worse, you know, you have to you have to take care of yourself and you have children. You, know, you have to take care of them, too. You know? So. Let me see if I just go ahead and try to tie this in the back. I don't even know what I'll be doing sometimes. I just... Try to put some stuff together because sometimes I just be wanting to just pull this out of my face. You know, it's still kind of wet because I, I went ahead and washed it. Went ahead and washed it because I like to kind of keep it fresh, you know what I mean? At least try to. I mean, yeah, you know, don't, don't don't laugh at my my um my picked out beard. I don't care, y'all can do whatever, but you know, I already I already know what I want, so I'm gonna work on it. I'm trying to trying to see if I, I mean, you know what I'm gonna, I've been using I'm gonna use some aloe vera on it, you know, aloe vera. I know that works. I know that works because aloe vera is very good for you. Let me go ahead and try putting this, but especially good for your skin as well. You know, it makes off all this hair down in my sink and stuff. But you know what? I just, I just wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to go ahead and speak my mind a little bit, talk to you guys about what we have, what I had in my head and my thoughts and what I was pondering today. 
so I had to, you know, take a little time so I can talk to you guys about it. And, you know, not, let me know what you think. You know, again, let me know if you're going crazy, still crazy inside the house, getting that cabin fever, because you you quarantined yourself. You know, you haven't you haven't been able to go outside, or you know, you're not um, going to. Your job, I've heard people out there who's, it, they actually lost their job and everything, you know, because pfft, some businesses just couldn't take it. And some businesses just did it because, like I said, like I was telling you in the beginning, they just don't care. They don't, they give two flying flips about you and about Anything you got going on, you know? All right. I do. Sometimes it looks like you do a lot of work to do nothing, but you know, you, you got to keep it clean, though. But I go ahead and I talk to you people, my people, out there a little later. So, like I always say, live good, be good, and goodbye.